Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhousehomeboon.com and today I'm gonna show you how I made this dried orange pine cone greenery eucalyptus wreath. This video today is in collaboration with my friend Julie from julieblanner.com and the YouTube channel Julie Blanner. She creates beautiful interiors, recipes, entertaining. You've seen her on my channel before. We've collaborated before. She showed me a sneak peek of her wreath and she's creating something so simple. It's just, it's so simple, but really elegant, really beautiful, totally doable. So after you watch my video, make sure to head over to my friend Julie's channel, learn how to make the wreath that she's making and make sure to follow along with her for more entertaining design, recipes and simplicity. You'll love her. For this wreath, I started with a basic greenery wreath. I found one over at Joann's a few nights ago for $6. And I wanted to just start there with something basic and then add in natural elements. Of course, oranges are cheap. Eucalyptus is inexpensive, especially if you live close to a Trader Joe's and then you can collect pine cones. So this wreath is a way to make something that's really beautiful for a low price and then of course custom and then fun to create something like this. So I started by drying out oranges in my oven. I just sliced them up really thin and put them on a baking sheet and bake them for about three hours at 200 degrees. This just made them to where they were crispy and preserved. Next, I took eucalyptus. Now you can use fresh or dried. I have a lot of dried eucalyptus around my house. Some of it came from my sister's wedding. I've had some from years past that I've dried out. Eucalyptus lasts forever when it's dried out. So it's always a good thing to have around because I feel like it looks pretty through all the seasons. I just used some floral wire to tuck it in and wrap it around. Next, I added some pine cones. Now to do this, I wrapped some floral wire around the bottom of the pine cones and then put the wire under the wreath, wrapped it really tightly, and then they're super secure. Now some of the larger pine cones, I wrapped the wire around the top and bottom and put it to the back of the wreath. This just helped to keep them on really tight. Next, I put the oranges on in clusters. Now you can see that I have a lot of help here who also had quite a few opinions about how we should do this. Doing like a few clusters there, one cluster there, one cluster there. Exactly. I think half a cluster there, and then half a cluster there. And that's it. Okay. Like one cluster here, one cluster here, one cluster here, one cluster there. Four clusters. You made that cluster.
finally I used a little bit of grain sack ribbon around the top and just added it to our door. I love how it turned out. It was inexpensive, really easy to make. It will last year after year. Everything's nice and dry. And so I will put it in the basement and get it out again next year. And I think it turned out really pretty. Now, make sure to go head over and watch my friend Julie Blanner make a wreath as well. I'm not gonna tell you what kind of wreath it is, but it is very, very pretty, elegant, and simple. If you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.